Hi guys, so this is a craft idea I just thought of. Uh, sorry for the lighting, it's like really terrible. But this is just a photo frame that I made. And I'm going to show you what you'll need. So it's like that. And I'm going to show you what you need. It's really simple to make and I'm going to talk you for step to step. So, all you will need is a ruler. Um, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter what size because you've only got to measure one centimeter. Uh, some scissors, some tissue paper or something to decorate the outside with like I've done here. Uh, I just used tissue paper in there and I scrunched them into little balls already. A pencil, lolly sticks. Now uh, it doesn't have to be coloured. I would um, use both, like any, but I have no choice because I only have coloured. But I thought like wooden plain wooden would be actually really nice because like it'd be really natural yeah and this is here for a reason on all of them so I'll talk you through that later and you will also need some kind of glue I use I'm gonna use a hot glue gun but you can also use PVA glue um, it's just as good but this dries a lot faster and it will be a lot easier to use because obviously it dries faster and you can get through the steps easier. And you will also need like a folder, you know, you just put A4 paper in it and it's just like a, a folder that you open. This has already been cut out for my last one, just a tester one. So like yeah, just an old folder that I only like pens. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. First, you're going to have to mark out on each of your lolly sticks, each of your four lolly sticks, one centimetre on each end, which is like that, on both ends. And do this for all of your lolly sticks. I've already done this, so I can go on to the next step. I'm going to have to switch my hot glue gun on. Oops, it's just gone all flying. Hang on a second, my hot glue gun never stands up. Oh my god, it's just stood up. Plop, and it goes down. Okay. Oh yeah, you'll also need a photo to put in. I was going to use my um, auntie's old tiger cub, but I can't seem to find it, so I'll just put that in later. Um, while that's heating up, I'm sorry, I should have put that on. I'm just going to show you something that I made. And I like, really like it. It's a candle thing. You take the thing off and it's like a candle and it matches this and it's a coke bottle that I've just cut the top and the bottom off and I stick a load of stuff in it and it's just like, a, you can twist this off like that and I just covered it, it looks really pretty so yeah, right that should be heating up soon oops Okay, it's not working. Okay, hang on, just two seconds. What? Your rice, Bridget. Uh, no, thank you, that's lovely. But chew. Actually, no, can I rise, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just gonna get another glue stick in. He just wanted to know what I wanted for tea, so yeah. Anyways. So, once that's heated up, it heats up usually pretty quick. Oh yeah, it's heating now. Right. So, what you do is you get your two sticks, and you see where the line is, and you match that line onto there, so it's like a cross, like this. And you just put a blob of glue here. And you stick this down. To the line. And five, four, three, two, one. And it's stuck. So it should look like that. And you do that to all of your sides. I really 
really wish I had a fast forward thing on this, but I don't, so, oops, sorry if it's taking a while. There we go, so that should look like that so far. And then you just simply add the bottom one on. So it makes sort of a frame. Oops. Well, that didn't go so well, but it's okay. There we are. So there we have the frame. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, you also need a bit of cardboard that goes at the back, which I haven't got. <laughs> Hang on, I, I thought I was like being a bit too prepared. I never am prepared, so I just thought it would be like a change, but no. Anyway, it's okay, I fixed it. Okay, so I'm just using this because it fits quite nicely. It fits quite nicely in my old one my other one okay so I just line it up and you cut it out and this may take a few attempts now this is what I did I put it down and I drew a line there and I might need to move that down a bit and about there okay so then you just cut with the scissors or if you've got any, um, I don't know how to say it, is it insecto knife? I don't know. Anyways, and you can use that. I have one downstairs, but I can't be bothered to get it. So that's that. I mean, I just got like ran around the house trying to get everything ready. And then I forget the piece of cardboard. And I forget the, in, I think it's an, an exacto knife, I don't know. Anyways, so that's the piece of card. Now, it's not an exact fit, so what you can do is you can turn it round. And you're going to have to cut about there, like this. I hope you're getting this because I'm not the best at explaining things. And hopefully this will fit a lot better, like there. So when you turn it around, it's really pretty. It's like red and black. Like that, if you can see. Sorry, the lighting again. Okay, so this time, you get your glue. It's leaked all over the place. Yours probably hasn't leaked. And you just glue along here. You have to do this pretty fast because it dries. like that and you stick it down okay now there may be a little bit of gap but when you put your photo in that will cover it up and okay so that's the first part to making the actual like bit where you put it in now this is for the like tricky er part um, what you have to do is you have to get your folder and you have to cut out, I should have done this before, oh well, so you have to sort of cut out a square, I'm just going to cut it out rough at the moment and I'll show you in a second. This is just like a square that I cut out, you can hardly see it, but there. And then you line it up on here. You can cut a straight edge if you want to. Which I'm going to cut a 